Hello, hello everybody, I'm here again and now it's gonna be in English in honor to my intermediate and advanced students who always complain that I never record a video for them so now it's for you of course what I'm gonna tell you is something very basic but that not everybody knows and if you're a teacher and is here you can also use this tip to help your students so hello one more time and I'm gonna talk about the verb have we all know that we use have to indicate possession when you have something you also have got something so you could say I have a brother I have a sister I have a car but you could also say I have got a brother I have got a sister I have got a car and you could also make it shorter instead of saying I have got you can say I've got I've got a brother I've got a sister I've got a car and for example if you're talking about somebody else she or he because if I'm talking about me I'm saying I have if you're talking about she or he remember you have to use has so if I say I have a car I can say she has a car I could say he has a car or if I want to use the have got I say she has got a car he has got a car about contraction when I use have got I say we've got we've got so I have got I've got but when I say she or he she has got he has got in the contracted form I use she's got and he's got sometimes elementary students get confused thinking that this apostrophe s means is but of course if you pay attention to the context you're gonna see that it has nothing to do with is because if I'm talking about have got has got because of the got you will know I'm talking about possession but one thing that not everybody knows even intermediate or some students who has a higher level of English is that you can replace the words eat and drink for have that's why we say have lunch have dinner have breakfast have snack I'm going to have pizza I'm going to have some water so teacher if you're here and you want to teach your students about the uh, uh, stu blah, gente, I'll be because of Jesus. if you're here and you want to teach your students to use have and have got one of the best things is to use with songs songs are wonderful it's not because I love to sing but songs are just wonderful they're great and I remember two songs that are good and are very simple to understand and to sing is that song that says you've got a friend one is from the cartoon Toy Story that has Woody the cowboy uh, the song begins with you've got a friend in me you've got a friend in me you could say I you have a friend in me you've got a friend in me another that also talks about friendship is that song when you're down in trouble the chorus says uh, you've got a friend at the end another exercise is you could get sentences or songs that uses have or has and rewrite it using have got and has got so the more you practice the more you will Remember, it's all about practice. So that was my tip for the day for you, teacher, for you, intermediate student. Even if you know this, at least you're here listening to English. And I'm available for lessons, for private lessons. If you want to practice your English, just contact me. And right now I'm going to end this conversation because I have to do another one for my elementary students, of course, because they deserve to understand and to have the same lesson. So it was great to be here with you. And I'll see you next time. Bye.